Hello everyone, my name is Aramika Brown, also known as Encyclopedia on the online internet community. And today I'm going to show you how to make repairs to your sewing machine. Generally there are five different areas that you need to look to whenever you're having problems sewing straight seams or if you're getting thread bunching problems. So depending on your machine you want to get your manual handy and also use your get your little screwdriver and a brush because those are some of the tools that you'll need to clean your machine. Now depending on the type of machine you have the first thing you want to look at is you want to take a look at your needle area and remove your needle. And you would use your screwdriver and slightly loosen it so you can remove your needle. And of course you'll replace your needle and then generally that will solve many of your problems that you have. The next thing that you would do if you were having problems is you would check your bobbin casing area. So you would want to remove your bobbin and as you remove your bobbin you will then clean out the area that is there to make sure it is free of any lint that may have accumulated there. Now of course this is a front load bobbin but if you have a top load bobbin you would follow the same process. Now with a front load bobbin you may also have a problem with the bobbin tension and one of the things that you would then do is you would check the tension on your bobbin. Typically a good bobbin tension means that you can hold the bobbin and it has a little give if it was too loose then the thread would come straight down and a bobbin would drop. And you can also check your manual but generally when you have bobbins of this type you would just basically tighten the screw and that would help to adjust the bobbin. One of the other areas that you would look to if you were having problems would be to look at your tension. Now if you're sewing along and your seams are starting to pucker and you notice that the you're getting a lot of loops on the top that would mean that your, your upper tension is too loose. So on my machine, my tension dial is here and it's a front tension. Some machines are in other locations, so you would locate that tension. So if my tension is too loose, I would turn it to the right to tighten it. If you had problems when you're seaming your fabric and the loops were gathering up at the bottom, also notice thread bunching, that's because your tension is too tight. And at that point, what you would do is you would turn your tension knob to the left to loosen it up. One of the other areas that you would look to if you were having problems with your machine is your thread area. And at that point, what you would do is you would rethread your machine, make sure that you follow all the channels, and that your machine is properly threaded. And if you're not sure how to do it, you can check your manual, and some machines also have the thread guides and instructions at the top of the machine. And one of the last things that we would look at if we were having problems with our machine, and if you, you know, are able to check your manual and you know how to actually go in there and take a look at it, you would want to remove your casing and check your drive belts to ensure that there is no cracks or that there isn't any wear. And of course, if you do have a problem with your drive belt, then that would be the time to go visit your local repair shop. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. Those are some of the things that you can do to repair your machine. My name is Aramica Brown, and if you have any questions, you can reach me at e at cocktailsandthread.com.